Yo, what is good people? It's what's a bit here. It's a pretty uh, sunny day today, so uh, I'm trying to use all this uh, natural light coming from the outside. And I didn't turn on the uh, studio lights today. Today I wanted to talk about putting your music into a drawer, not releasing your music. I was always a kind of person that would make everything sound super perfect, uh, so I have to be satisfied fully before I release something. And at the first sight, it's not really uh, a bad attitude. It really, really depends on what you want to achieve. So back in the day when I was releasing my own music with my vocals, etc., I was always like, you know, I have to make it sound uh, like I want to before I uh, think of a release. But I was also a kind of person that would like to rush. So I would love to record a song in one day, uh, mix it the same day and release it on the same day and I was really impatient. Sometimes I'm still impatient and that's pretty common nowadays, I think. But I've been meeting many people that were just making great songs, seriously great songs, and some of them were just putting their music into a drawer. I mean, not releasing it. It was just for them, not for a public release. And I was always like, why? And most of the times those people don't really see the potential they have. And I think it's really important to know your worth, uh, that what you're doing is good. Maybe not 100% perfect and not like polished and you know, it doesn't have mixing and mastering from a super big studio. Also, I know from my experience that uh, people fear um, to be judged on the internet. No matter if it's YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud, anything like that, uh, and it's actually not that important. And not just because you shouldn't be listening to the haters, but a sad, or not so sad really, truth is that um, you won't really get a lot of views or you know streams when you are uploading something for the first, second, third, and maybe for the tenth time. What I mean, you can have the best songs in the world, properly mixed, super musical, really catchy, but if you don't, put your time into promotion, if you don't put your time into consistency, which is even more important, I think, you won't really see the result you maybe want to see. As an example, at the beginning of this channel, uh, you know, I, I uploaded a few uh, high quality videos, uh, which I was really happy with. I mean, really satisfied with. The quality was there. Everything was, you know, at, at my 100%. The sound quality was uh, much more better than at the very, very beginning. And when I started uploading consistently, after a month, uh, I was like, nothing's happening really. You know, there's a tiny, tiny grow on the channel, but not like 10,000 subscribers. Where, are I, where is my 10,000 subscribers? And I was really wrong, really, really wrong. And if you want to start uploading anything to internet, no matter if these are songs, videos, tutorials, uh, beats, anything like that, do not believe in you know, sentences like a uh, good piece of music will, will always defend itself. Of course, if the song's better, it has a bigger chance to blow up. But at the beginning, if you don't have any uh, listeners, uh, viewers, etc., there is no one to judge because streaming platforms, social media, anything, any platform uh, you are uploading to doesn't want to blow up your video. At the very beginning, you always need to bring your listeners, your viewers, subscribers to your place, to uh, your platform. And let me show you something. As an experiment, I've set up a second channel where I was uploading my beats for a few months. Here are the beats. Uh, I've started uploading four months ago. I was uploading the beats consistently. I wasn't sharing the videos. I wasn't really talking about uh, this, this channel too much on Instagram, etc. Because I thought uh, YouTube will initially start to uh, suggest my beats to, uh, you know, other people. Or at least I will have some recognition among search terms. So if someone looks for trap metal type beat, uh, they will see my beats. But what I want to show you, look at the views. 8 views, 8 views, 11 views, 16 views, 12 views, oh, 35 views. Uh, 3 months ago, 44 views, 16 views, 27 views. Nothing's really happening. And those are super good beats. You could hear them in my vlogs, you could hear them on my website. But let's compare this channel to a plant. I didn't really water it properly at the beginning, so 
uh, I can upload, upload and upload and maybe, you know, after a few years something will happen. Uh, but right now nothing's really happening. So what I want you to understand, nothing will come on its own. And as I think about my followers, subscribers, uh, you know, people that are just watching me every day. It's actually incredible uh, how many of them I've actually brought here on my own by sharing my uh, Reaper tutorials in uh, Reaper groups, Reaper subreddit, by putting them on Facebook and Instagram, making some uh, shorter videos, you know, shorter versions of those videos I have on the channel and making myself accessible in general so people don't have to go to the channel, they can see a snippet of the video on Instagram and then decide to go to the channel, for example. I can say with a clear conscience uh, that I did everything I could to be where I'm at right now. Of course, I could always do more, but uh, I would have to abandon sleeping and stuff and I would be a walking zombie. Okay, so let's sum everything up. Do not put your music into a drawer. Release your music even if it's not 100% like you want it to be. Develop some consistency. Upload one song every two weeks or one song every month, but do it on a regular basis. This will start to accumulate people around you. Maybe not like 100 people every single month, but if you have two new listeners, like every week, for example, if you can bring them here, if, if uh, you can tell your friends about your songs, if they can tell their friends, if you can hit somebody up on Instagram uh, who you think uh, might be interested in your songs, then just take care of yourself and uh, make yourself some listeners, some viewers, no matter what you're doing. Because I will always be repeating this. Social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, SoundCloud, Spotify, those are, let's say, musical social medias with likes and stuff. They will never promote you just because you are making some good stuff, even if it's the best in the world, even if it's better than any other thing you've heard in your life or watched in your life. So instead of planning for edges, start today. Or at least think about starting in a week or two. Because if you are not releasing music, uh, you will never know how it feels like. You will never meet those people you would meet if you would be uh, releasing your music. And that's also a really important part of every journey. Of course, I could have 100k subscribers now, but now I have, let's say, 10 people I'm texting with every single week. I have a small group of people that cares about what I'm doing. And for me, that's far more better than having 100k empty subscribers that would just watch something uh, every fourth video, for example. So guys, engage people, do it consistently, think about what you are going to do, make some plans, set some goals you can go towards, and it will give you a better image of the progress. And I think that's really it. Next week, I want to go into opposite direction. I will make a video when I will be discussing situations uh, when you shouldn't be releasing your music to the internet. So it's going to be funny. My name is Dominic, you've been watching Vodzo Beats and keep the good vibes alive!